So we all know every school has a bully. And so we all know every school has a bully. At my school, our bully was Brayton Smith. Everyone was scared of him because he was known to enjoy beating people up. Sometimes it seemed like even adults were scared of him too. I was terrified of Brayton, so I just got smart and became his friend. It wasn't always easy being Brayton's friend though. I don't know if you can hear it, guys. Actually, you can hear it. So we all know every school has a bully. At my school, our bully was. We should go back to the very beginning today. So we all know every school has a bully. At my school, our bully was Brayton Smith. Everyone was scared of him because he was known to enjoy beating people up. Sometimes it seemed like even adults were scared of him too. I was terrified of Brayton, so I just got smart and became his friend. It wasn't always easy being Brayton's friend though. He punched me for no reason. I had to laugh at all of his jokes or he'd give me the look. And he always ate my lunches, but it was worth it. At least I didn't have to worry about him beating me up like other kids did. But one day, Brayton and our classmate Zai started teasing each other. Zai's jokes were so funny and I chuckled at one of them. I looked at Brayton and Brayton was giving me the look. He told me to come here and I did because he's my friend. Then he put a pencil on his shoulder and said, knock the pencil off. I thought it was a joke so I knocked the pencil off. You know what that means? I'm gonna beat you up after school. My eyes lit up. Notice he didn't say we're gonna fight. He said he's gonna beat me up. Oh, he's confident. When the last bell rung, I was the first person out the school. I hopped on my bike and pedaled like I stole something. After Brayton Smith said he was going to beat me up, I avoided him for a whole week. I heard he was getting more and more mad every day, and I just didn't understand. Why does Brayton want to beat me up? I didn't do anything to the guy. Knock the pencil off. Oh, it must have been his favorite pencil. So I thought, hey, I'll buy him new pencils, and then we can be friends again. So the next day after lunch, we were outside, and Brayton started walking up to me. Cool, I can give him the pencils. My friends later told me that when he got up to me, he said, are you ready? I didn't hear him because I was reaching in the bag to get the pencils. When I looked up, he punched me in my face. <clears throat> I was already on the ground, so all I could do was cover my face. Oh, somebody help me! The teacher was scared of Brayton, so he called security. They finally got him off of me, and he was suspended from school. I was treated like a hero because now everyone could walk around the school in peace. That is until Brayton's suspension is over. We all knew, in a matter of days, Brayton will be back. The day after, one of my friends sent me a YouTube link, and guess what it was? Me getting beat up by Brayton. The only person I remember being that close was Zai. So I gave him a call. You recorded the beatdown? You don't remember, do you? When Brayton was walking up to you and you were digging through your bag, he said to me, Take your phone out and start recording. And you know what Brayton says goes. Okay, but did you have to send it to him? Yes. When they were walking him away, he said, Send me that video, or next time, it's gonna be you. So I get that. Zai had to do what he had to do. So the next day, I went to the principal so he could get Brayton to take down the video. But he was all like, I'm not talking to Brayton. What, so he can beat me up too? Oh my goodness. Is there anyone that's not scared of this kid? At this point, the video's going viral. I want this video down. Hello, what's this? Under the video, I see a button that says report. And when I clicked it, it read, Brayton said we can't take this video down. He had YouTube scared, so I just gave up. So a few days after Brayton's suspension, I heard my doorbell ring. I looked out the window and it was Brayton! Ah, he's at my house! How does he know where I live? Uh, hello? Open up the door, Desmond. It's Brayton. I know Desmond here. I know it's you, Desmond. The principal gave me your address. Open up the door. Don't make me ask twice. I had no choice but to open up the door. Oh, hey, Brayton. Kicked any butts lately? That's why I'm here. Oh, my goodness. He's going to beat me up at my own house. You have a studio, don't you? Um, yeah. Good, I need to record a song. Brayton in the booth, getting loose, always being tough. Better like these bars, cause if not, I'ma beat you up. Like I did the kid that knocked the pencil off my shoulder. I beat him so bad, he beat himself till it was over. If that boy listening, I really want you to know. I'm the type to come and diss you in your own studio. So to the kid that got me suspended, you better watch your back, cause this still ain't finished.
Send me that. I'll see you at school. So I'm nervous this morning because Brayton's suspension is over. While my dad made his coffee, he would turn on the radio. Have y'all heard that new song? It's called Knock the Pencil Off My Shoulder. It's by a new artist named Brayton the Bully. And we got him on the phone right now. Brayton, how did you come up with this song? <laughs> it was easy. I just beat up this boy at school, made a song about it, and get this. I recorded the song at his house. Oh, he recorded the song at his house. Oh! Let's hear a little bit of it. Brayton in the booth, getting loose. Oh, I gotta Always get out of here. Tough. Better like these bars, because if I not, like I'm going to beat you up. So when I get to school, I run right into Brayton. All right, Brayton, I'm ready. Nah, man, that song we recorded just went double platinum. So today, I'm not gonna beat you up, but I am gonna make you miserable. Brayton started tripping me up the stairs, scaring me around corners, and planned on stealing my bike. So during recess, I loosened up my handlebars. After school, he tried to steal my bike, and he fell. Desmond, I'm gonna beat you up tomorrow. Yikes. Today we're playing touch football in gym class, so get ready. Our gym teacher starts telling us who we're going to be guarding, and of course I got matched up with Brayton. Please, please, anybody but him. I'm sorry, Desmond. Brayton wanted to be matched up with you, and you know what Brayton says goes. The teams are set, Desmond. <laughs> oh my goodness, I already know what that guy's planning. It's touch football, but he's going to tackle me. Every time they would say hike, Brayton would start running at me like a bull. Oh, wait till I get you. I'm sure the teacher seen what was going on, but you know, another teacher scared of Brayton. It will be a timeout, but he will still come after me. I'm over here drinking water and he's still coming after me. Tying my shoe, still coming after me. Man, I over got the ball. He's still coming after me. The bell rung and gym class was over, so I stopped running. But Brayton didn't, and he tackled me. That's for when I fell off your bike when I tried to steal it. <sighs> it just seems like he's never going to give me a break. So I finally accepted the fact that Brayton just doesn't like me. If I see him while I'm walking up the stairs, I just get ready because I know he's going to trip me. Wait a minute. He didn't trip me. Well, I know when I walk around the corner, he's going to scare me. Wait, what? Mm, well, it's lunchtime, so I know he's going to want my food. Okay, what's going on? What's wrong with Brayton? Are you feeling okay? I'm great. Why do you ask? You just seem a little different today, that's all. Well, last night, I really got some good sleep. But what do you mean by I'm acting different? Well, you usually kick my butt every day. What? I would never. You must got me mixed up with another Brayton. Yeah, you're right. I don't know who this new Brayton is, but I like him. He's laughing more. He's not tripping me up the stairs. This Brayton is friendly. Well, I can get used to this. The next day, I seen Brayton. I was like, what's up, Brayton? Why are you calling my name like we friends or something? Oh, my goodness. He must have didn't get no sleep. I'm so sorry, Brayton. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I don't know what you thinking. I guess you didn't get no sleep last night. Brayton, don't sleep. Get out my face. Yup, Brayton's back. So one day when I got to school, I saw this kid. I waved, started walking up the stairs, and he tripped me. Ah, oh, good one. Desmond, meet my brother, Lathan. I didn't know Brayton had a little brother. Hey, little man. Lathan, he just called you little. Are you going to take that? Turns out, Layton is Brayton's big brother. I just ran away. I thought Brayton was bad, but Layton was ruthless. He was scaring teachers, beating up students, and just acting crazy. What do you think about my brother? Oh, he's your brother, all right. The coolest. After school, I seen Lathan stuck in the highest part of the jungle gym. I asked him if he needed help, but he said no. So I left. The next day when I seen Lathan and Brayton, Brayton looked a little angrier than usual. So you just gonna leave my brother in the jungle gym? <laughs> oh my God. Did this little short wannabe Brayton just lie on me? He said he didn't need help. Did you ask for help? What? No, he didn't. You calling my big brother a liar? I can't win this battle. So I just gave him my lunch money and said, I'm sorry. Works every time. So Brayton had a girlfriend and surprisingly, she was very nice. But sometimes she was a little too nice. Every time Brayton turned his head around, she would flirt with me. She would blow kisses, wink her eye at me, and put up the heart sign. What is she doing? If Brayton sees her, who knows what he's gonna do? So I would just turn around because I didn't want any problems. Well, Brayton wasn't at school one day and I seen his girlfriend at recess. And she said, I like you, Desmond. I like you too, Brittany. No, Desmond, I like, like you. You look like Neo and I like Neo. <laughs> Oh, she's trying to get me beat up. Brayton would turn me into a pretzel if he heard her talking like that. I think I should go. She grabbed my hand and kissed me. What's going on here? Turns out Brayton was at the doctor's and he was still coming to school. Desmond came up to me and kissed me. She just straight up lied on me. Brayton came up to me and punched me in my eye. So today, we were being paired up for a science project. I don't know how this keeps on happening, but I got paired up with Brayton. Mr. Standard, can I work by myself? <sighs> N never mind. Working with Brayton was the worst. He didn't do anything. He made me do all the work. I did the research. I picked the flowers. I came up with the presentation. All he did was boss me around and stand there. So on the day of the presentation, Brayton comes up to me and says, The presentation better be done. It is. Just follow my lead. Who you talking to? Myself. 
I'm talking to myself. It was our turn to go up and our presentation was a song. Carbon dioxide plus water and light energy equals glucose in oxygen and that makes photosynthesis. Whoa, that was good. Which one of y'all was singing? Me, I was singing. Are you serious? No way the teacher's gonna buy that. Wow, Brayden, you sing better than Desmond. You get an A plus. <laughs> For you, Desmond, oh, you just get a plain old A. Of course. So today, we got a new student. His name was Bernard. Sit anywhere you want, Bernard. He sat next to me, and by the end of the class, we were friends. So at recess, Brayton came up to us and asked us for some money. Give me some money. Ah, oh, Bernard, just give him your money. Bernard said, I don't think so. Ah, oh, since you're new, I'm gonna give you one more chance. I said, give me your money. No. Oh man, Bernard's about to get beat up on his first day. I can't watch. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, it's bad. Come on, Desmond, let's go to class. I don't know what Bernard did to Brayton, but anytime he seen me with him, he just left me alone. Why does Brayton hate you so much? Man, I don't know. We used to be friends, but then one day he asked me to knock the pencil off his shoulder, and I did, and he hated me ever since. So at recess, Bernard walked up to Brayton and pulled out a pencil. Knocked the pencil off. Brayton knocked the pencil off. Then Bernard took off his shirt, and Brayton ran away. Turns out today was Bernard's last day because he was transferring again. You can't be scared of Brayton. You gotta be brave. <laughs> yeah, all right. Today's May 8th, my birthday. I'm about to have the best day at school. Well, I thought I was. Brayton made this day the worst day of my life. He popped my birthday balloon, ate some of my birthday cookies, and ruined my birthday song. Happy birthday to Brayton. Happy birthday to Brayton. Then he ate my McDonald's birthday sandwich. Oh, that's it. I can't stand you, Brayton. I don't like you. You're so mean. You're nothing but a, but a bully. So after school, the doorbell rang, and it was Brayton. Let me guess, you're here to give me my 12 birthday hits, aren't you? Ah, oh, birthday hits, funny. Brayton came over to give me another McDonald's sandwich. I don't understand. You were right at school. We used to be friends. I don't know what happened. Brayton and I just chilled on the porch and talked about when we used to be friends. <laughs> like, why did you get so mad when I knocked that stupid pencil off your shoulder? <sighs> that pencil's not stupid. You're stupid. We're not friends no more. And just like that, we were back to square one. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Look at me with that big old smile. I was happy because I was finally chosen to be the school safety. The school safety had really cool responsibilities, like raising the school flag, monitoring the hallways and just having the respect of all the students well all the students minus Brayton the bully he treated me like I didn't have the safety bag I get to school and he be raising a flag already Brayton that's my job what you gonna do about it he never had a hall pass Brayton I don't mean to start no trouble but do you have a hall pass he just didn't respect me oh yeah Brayton that's mine I'm the safety I'm the safety I'm the safety <laughs> where's your hall pass little boy so I went to the principal and told him Brayton. Oh, let me show you something, Desmond. Brayton has been a safety for the last six years. Anytime, and I mean anytime, we choose someone else, he just takes their badge. One week I was a safety, he just took my badge. No one can control him, Desmond. Run! Run! And I ran for my life. So once again, my school was having a talent show. My friend Calissa and I decided to sing a duet. Throughout the day, we tried to rehearse between classes. There's no air, no air. Got me out here in the water so deep. Oh, Desmond, you sound like a little girl. Anytime we were practicing, Brayton was messing us up. Brayton, here's $20. Just leave us alone. Oh, yeah, give me that. So at the talent show, there was no sign of Brayton. Tell me how I'm supposed to breathe with no air. Can't live, can't breathe without air It's how I feel whenever you ain't there oh, There's no, no air, air, no air Got me out here in the water so deep Tell me how you're gonna be without me no, If you ain't here, I, I just can't, can't breathe. breathe There's no air, no air Brayton cut off my mic and sung my parts The judges thought it was me singing And we lost the talent show All because of Brayton and his stupid shenanigans So one Saturday, I heard a knock on my door And it was my good friend Bernard He was in town visiting his grandma And I told him all about Brayton the school bully Brayton is still messing with you I told you to be brave I'm not that strong, Bernard Have you been using that app I showed you? Oh, the home workout app? The link to the app is on my- Stop, Desmond, no more ads This is serious 
Brayden's gonna beat you up if you don't get strong. Come on, we got work to do. But now he started training me, and let's just say it wasn't easy. He had me doing all types of workouts, workouts that I never heard of. He had me running miles and doing boxing drills for hours. Man, I can't do this. I quit. You quit? Don't you wanna look like this so you can scare Brayden off? Mm -hmm. Then get up and stop being a weenie. After Bernard's intense training, I was ready. I was ready to face Brayton. The next day at school, I turned the corner and Brayton was there. Look who it is, ugly egghead. Your mama. What did you say to me? I said, your mama. Oh, you just got yourself beat up. <laughs> yeah, that's what you think. Brayton swung at me and I dipped it. Then I hit him with a two piece. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I got him. And then he tried to tackle me. Oh, you think you can punch Brayton and get away with it? I moved out the way and when he turned around, I punched him in the face. Bernard would be so proud. At this point, I just started doing everything Bernard taught me. Okay, that's me, you win. What was that, Brayton? I didn't hear you. I said you win. Yeah, that's what I thought. I couldn't believe it. I actually beat Brayton up. As I was walking away, Brayton snuck up behind me and hit me. Nobody beats Brayton up. Turns out, it was all a dream. Today, Brayton was mean as usual. But after school is when it all went down. My bike! Where's my bike? It was right here. Are you talking about the green and blue bike? Oh, yeah, Brayton just took that. What? Okay, you can eat my lunch. You can punch me in the face, but you cannot steal my blue and green bike. So I did what any man would do. I told my daddy. My dad was furious, so we hopped in the car and we drove to Brayton's house. I seen Brayton outside, so I walked up to him. Hey, Brayton, um, somebody told me that you took my bike. What bike? The blue and green one. You know, the one that you tried to steal before? Oh, that bike. I didn't know you still wanted it. Come on, I'll take you to it. So I followed Brayton to get my bike. Well, Brayton's not too bad after all. Uh, woo! That's my bike, bro! You want some of this too, old man? Nope. That's me getting this car. Got me over here messing with these crazy folks. My bike! Forget that bike! So anytime we had to write an essay or we had tests, Brayton would copy off of me. And if the teacher noticed that our work was the same, I would have to take the fall. Uh, y'all papers are identical, which means one of y'all copied. Who copied? <sighs> It was me, I copy. If I tried to cover my answers, he would punch me. If I was done my test before him, he would tell me to sit down so he could finish copying. I even tried to move my seat one time, but Brayton was right there. I was over it, so I came up with a plan. One day we were having a test and I picked up two answer sheets. That way I can circle the wrong answers on one sheet and the right answers on the other. It was so funny cause I could see Brayton copying my answers and they were wrong. When the test was over, Brayton said, give me that other answer sheet. Other answer sheet? I don't know what you're talking about. The jig is up, Desmond. I see the other answer sheet. Now give it to me. What, Brayton? You're tripping. One. Brayton, I don't know what two, you're talking about. Don't maybe get the four. Three. Okay, okay, here. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's it. On Friday, I'm beating up Brayton for real. Even worse than I did in my dream. So one day, our English teacher asked us to pair up in twos for a new project. We had to come up with our own product and create a commercial for it. Me and my friend Calissa paired up and Brayton didn't like that. Desmond, you're my partner. No, Brayton, you make me do all the work. You're on your own. Who you think you talking to? I'm talking to you. Brayton, just leave us alone. This ain't over. Calissa came over my house to work on a project. Our product was called Skirt Skirper Juice. And our commercial went like... Skirt Skirper Juice, better than root beer. I taste it great juice, find it everywhere Chris Brown loves it, it tastes so good We know I love it, sipping on your scupper <laughs> So who wants to present first? I do, I do! Okay, Brayton, go ahead! Skirt Skirt juice, better than root beer I taste it great juice Wait a minute, he stole our song! Oh no, you didn't! Desmond, you fell for interrupting Brayton! Brayton, you get an A! Ah, yeah! So our principal would choose students to produce the morning news. And my friend Zai, Brayton, and myself were chosen. I was the anchor, Zai was the cameraman, and Brayton controlled the teleprompter. I don't want to control this. I want to be the anchor. No, Brayton. Nobody want to see your face in the morning. You been acting real tough lately. Because I'm tired of your crap. You always trying to boss somebody around. Come over here and say that to my face. And we're live in three, two, Good morning, Lawside Public, and welcome to the news. My name is Desmond Dennis, and today is Wednesday, May 27th. We have a few announcements to help you prepare for your day. The weather today will be so hot that birds will be pulling worms out of the ground with oven mitts. Lunch today will be crap as usual. The word of the day is doo-doo, and the quote of the day, laugh out loud, the quote of the day is people say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. Psst, move, Desmond. Brayton, go up there. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Brayton, and I would like to apologize for Desmond's rude, rude behavior. For lunch, I'm going to be giving Desmond a knuckle sandwich. 
So last night, I didn't get a lot of sleep. And I was falling asleep in every classroom. My teacher got so mad at me that he made me stand up in the back of the class. But that didn't help. I just linked on the wall and fell asleep. During recess, I fell asleep on the jungle gym. The bell woke me up and I stood up. I tried to walk, but then I fell. Everyone started laughing at me. Turns out, Brayton tied my shoes together. Ha ha, got you. Nah, that's it. I'm not taking any more of Brayton's crap. Hey, Brayton. Knock, knock, knock the pencil, pencil off. Oh, you want to fight me? All I got to say is meet me at the park after school. So you really want to do this, huh? Do you not remember half of the things you've done to me? You beat me up for no reason. You stole my bike twice. You tackled me in gym class. Made a diss track about me. Enough is enough. Do you know who I am? I'm Brayton the bully. Nobody can beat me up. Don't say nobody because my friend Bernard beat you up. I'm done talking. You wanted to fight, so hit me. I just kept staring at him, thinking about everything he's done to me. I said hit me. Before he could finish, my fist was in his face. He got back up like it didn't affect him. Oh, this gonna be harder than I thought. Then he put me in a headlock. You really think you're gonna win? You think you're gonna win? Ugh. I got out of it. Then he tried to punch me, but I moved out the way. He tried to punch me again, but I moved out the way again. So that's how Bernard beat him up. Brain can only punch people when they're standing still. Stop moving. Nope, if you want to beat me up, you got to catch me. He tried to tackle me, but I moved out the way. He tried to kick me, but he missed. I said stay still. He tried to hit me again, but his punches were getting slower. I said stay still. I beat up Brain without even touching him. Okay, Desmond, do it. I looked at Brain. I couldn't help but to feel sorry for him. Nah, man, I'm not going to do that. After really talking to him, I learned that Brayton had it pretty rough at home. That's why he was so bad at school. We didn't become friends, but we respected each other. So after we graduated, I really haven't seen Brayton around. But a couple of months ago, I went to a new barbershop and I seen Brayton there. What is he doing here? I thought I would never ever see him again. But there he was with that stupid <laughs> grin on his face. Even as an adult, I'm still scared of him. Oh, look who it is. Little egghead, st st stuttering Stanley, the little boy that sing like a little girl. After all these years, he hasn't changed one bit. Oh, so Brayton, you're a barber now. Yeah, I like to cut people's hair. Mm, good for you. Get in my chair. No, thank you, Brayton. He's going to cut my hair. I said get in my chair. Brayton, we aren't kids anymore. You can't talk to me. Boy, I said get in my chair. All right. Brayton, I'm a singer now, so take your time on my hair, please. <laughs> I got you. I was so focused on trying to get to level 50 on this new game I've been playing that I didn't notice what Brayton was doing to my hair. Take a look. Oh, Brayton, what do you do? He butchered my hair. Then tried to use that stuff. You know what I'm talking about, that black paint. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> So on the first day back to school, our teacher was asking us what we did this summer. And what do you do, Desmond? I play my drums every day. Haha, <laughs> good. And what do you do this summer, Brayton? I wanted to get better at fighting, so I picked up boxing. And guess what? I haven't lost a match yet. Haha, <laughs> good for you, Brayton. I bet you're going to kick a lot of butt this year. Woo, I'm glad me and Brayton patched things up last year. During recess, we were playing tag on the jungle gym. As I was running, I heard somebody yell, and it was Brayton. Oh, uh, you stepped on my fingers. Yo, Brayton, it was an accident. I'm sorry. Nah, I don't want to hear that. You you lost my respect. Well, I mean, if you seen us running around up here, why would you be hanging on the jungle gym? Oh, so now you want to get smart. I'm going to beat you up after school. Oh, my goodness. Here we go again. Come on, Brayton. We're in the eighth grade now. Can we just talk about this? He just looked at me and kept on walking. So can you guess what I did? I ran out to school when the bell rung. I never got my bike back from Brayton when he stole it last year, so I had to run all the way home. I guess I got to deal with another year of Brayton. So I decided that I wasn't going to run away from Brayton, but I can't lie, I was a little bit scared. I knew you wouldn't show up to fight me yesterday, little punk with your ugly red shirt. He does know that we all have to wear the same shirt, right? Oh yeah, you're a little bit new, so you don't even know. A couple of years ago, we were allowed to wear whatever we wanted, but some kids couldn't afford the best clothes. And we, I mean they, would get teased for it. Yo, Desmond, I got one question. What are those? <laughs> I mean, really, look at your shoes, look at your pants, look at your shirt. Hey, hey, look at your shoes, look at your pants, look at your shirt. Everybody, come on, look, look at, at your shoes, shoes. Look, look at your pants, pants. Look, look at your shirt. Hey, hey, your whole fit is trash. You look ridiculous. So what did the kids do about it? They did the only thing they could do. They told the principal, and the next year, we had to wear a uniform. Oh, so that's why we got to wear these red shirts. But I like that chant, though. How did it go? Look at your shoes. Look at your pants. Look at your shirt. I remember that. Look at your shoes. Look at your pants. Look at your shirt. So my middle school had this tall gate that surrounded the building. If you were playing outside, you weren't allowed near it, and definitely not on the other side. 
Well, one day during recess, I was playing the cat game, a game you go around searching for cute cats. The link to the game is on my page. When all of a sudden, my friend's eyes said, have you heard? Brain went on the other side. Nobody has ever gone on the other side, and I had to see it for myself. Sure enough, Brayton was on the other side of the gate, looking crazy as I don't know what. And then he said, Desmond, I dare you to come to the other side. <gasps> At our school, you couldn't turn down a dare no matter how crazy it was. Fine, I'll do it. Brayton came back over and I went in. Say, it's kind of nice over here. Oh, teacher, teacher, Desmond's on the other side. No, are you crazy? No one's ever been on the other side. Yeah, huh? Brayton was over here first and then he dared me to. Now I know Brayton's not that crazy. Desmond, I'm calling your daddy. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Oh. So by this age, I was really into music and I wanted to start my own singing group. So I held auditions to find three more singers. I found two really good singers and all I needed was one more. And what's your name? Brayton. I looked up and it was Brayton, the school bully. Brayton, you don't even know how to sing. I want to sing. And I was like, baby, 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 oh, baby, 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 no. I'm sorry, Brayton, but you can't be in my group. You better put me in the group or I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> So at our first rehearsal, we were trying to come up with a group name. The group name should be Brayton and the Dum Dums. And since my name is Brayton, that makes me the lead singer. No, this is my group. The name of the group is Brayton and the Dum Dums. So it's my group. Hey, Brayton, since this is your group, shouldn't you be practicing with us? I don't need to practice, and I don't like your attitude. You out the group. No! So ever since I was a kid, I had a habit of shaking my legs. Half of the times I didn't even notice that my legs were shaking, but other people started to notice and that's when the problem started. Teachers would ask me if I had to go to the bathroom. Um, Desmond, do you have to go to the bathroom? No, why? Uh, because your legs are shaking. Oh, it's just a habit. My parents started thinking that I was being disrespectful. I don't care, you're not going outside until you do that homework. <sighs> Oh, you trying to be smart? What did I do? You shaking your legs. Oh, you think you big now? No, Dad, it's just a habit. Oh, so you think I'm stupid? But the worst person who noticed was Brayton. He noticed my legs were shaking in class, and he started a rumor that I brought a frog to school. Look, everybody, Desmond has a frog in his pants. Oh, I knew something funny was going on here. No, no, it's just a habit. I can't help it. No, 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 I'm not falling for that again. The principal is waiting. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So let me get this straight. You brought a frog to school? No, I just be shaking my legs. Well, Brayton said he saw this frog so you know what brain says goes i'm sorry that's what my ears is burning <laughs> no so yesterday brayton got me suspended for one day and anytime i got suspended i had to stay at my grandparents house while my parents were at work there wasn't a whole lot to do there they only had basic cable so i couldn't watch my favorite shows the internet wasn't the best so no youtube if i got hungry they only had oodles and noodles and sometimes the oodles and noodles was expired 1992 these noodles are older than me i got a text message from brayton the message said wait let me get my brayton voice look what we're watching in class today and then he sent me a video i clicked on a video and my whole entire class was looking at the video of me getting beat up by Brayton. I could hear everybody <laughs> laughing. Even the teacher was laughing. I couldn't believe it. I'm not even at school and Brayton's making a fool out of me. Look y'all, this is my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I go back to school, I'm gonna be a laughing stock. <laughs> So on my first day back to school after my suspension, Brayton was already there starting. Oh, look who it is! Little Egghead! St -st Stuttering Stanley! There's someone out there being teased for now. Why you come back to school? Nobody missed you! And they need your help till the teacher now. Those stairs mean nothing to me! Oh, huh. Don't try to make somebody sad. Get out my face! Don't make somebody stay back Why you taking up for him though? Don't try to make somebody cry Brain do what he want Don't make somebody hurt inside Who? Oh, 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 oh. Ain't nobody Don't make me mad To stop the oh. bullying You better get on my face bullying Stop nobody. dancing Stop, stop the dancing the bullying. Brain nobody. do what Brain want bullying Get up on my stop face Stop the Woo. bullying so one day our class was going on a field trip to a museum. We were put into groups and of course I was in Brayton's group. Our teacher told us to look after one another so that no one would get lost. I could see Brayton grinning and I knew he was up to something. Anyways, the museum was so fun. There were so many cool things to see but I couldn't wait to see the dinosaurs. All of a sudden Brayton said to me, We're going to see the dinosaur bones, hurry up! I was so excited and I followed him. I realized he was lying when I looked around and I was all alone. Getting lost during a field trip was one of my biggest fears ever. I looked at my phone and I had no service. I'm all alone. How are they gonna find me? No, I'm gonna be trapped there forever. I calmed down and found a security guard who brought me back to my group. You're in big trouble, Desmond. Brain said you ran off and we were looking all over for you. <laughs> you cannot come to the next trip. <laughs>
So most people don't know that Yermi Yermi had a real job. He used to work at my school. Sometimes he'll be picking up trash or wiping down the jungle gym. And he was also the crossing guard. Yeah, come on! But Yermi Yermi started doing things that ultimately got him fired. Like instead of cleaning the jungle gym, he was playing on it. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about, yeah! Or when he was helping kids cross the street, he started asking them for $5. Hey, young let me hold $5. $5? You got $5? The final straw was when the principal found Yermi Yermi in the bushes. Yermi Yermi, I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing in the bushes? Oh, I'm just playing this new SpongeBob game. I'm having a cook off. Oh, I see. But I'm glad you're having fun because guess what? You're fired. So, no $5? You'll get your last paycheck in a week. Yermi Yermi tried to catch the principal, but he got away. Next time I see you, I want my $5. Then he went back into the bushes to play the SpongeBob game. So when school was over, everyone used to play around in the school parking lot. We were tossing a football around, and when I threw it, it hit Brayton. Who hit me with something? Of course, everyone pointed at me. Brayton walked up to me and punched me in the face. Hey, man, you don't got to punch people like that. Yermi Yermi came out the bushes and walked up to Brayton. Man, if you don't get out of here, Yermi Yermi. Leave, Yermi Yermi. I don't want you to get hurt. Hey, chill, young buck. I'm just going to talk to him real quick. Talk? There's no talking to Brayton, and Yermi Yermi was about to find out. I think you need to learn how to keep your hands to your suit. Brayton punched Yermi Yermi right in his face. Oh, what he hit me with? His fist. Hey, that's what I thought. Yermi Yermi passed out on the ground. Oh, yeah, I'm bad. Psst, Yermi Yermi, pretend that Brayton owes you $5. Oh, you messed up now. I ain't scared of you. Uh, too slow. Man, you better go and get my money. Yeah. Woo, $5. $5. Dollars. $5 dollars. We gave Yermi Yermi an applause and walked home. Yeah. Brayton was a bully at school because he was bullied at home. His oldest brother, Ethan, always messed with him. Tell me about Tori, that Tori is mine now. No, I had it first. Who you talking to, little boy? Anytime Brayton would get something new, Ethan would take it. Brayton, rest stop. It's my new push-up toy. Mom and dad bought it for me. Oh, yeah, it is your birthday. Well, give it to me. It's my toy now. Oh, yeah, this thing works. I'm strong now. Oh, what game are you playing? Ethan took Brayton's phone and deleted his game. Oh, why you do that? Mm, what you gonna do about it? Well, since I can't beat you up, I'm gonna beat people up at school. And that's why Brayton's the school bully. So one day we were in class learning about black history. The presence of African Americans in major motion pitch roles has. Hey, Desmond, there's something about you that I just don't like. I don't like you. Leave me alone, Brayton. I'm trying to pay attention. Guess what, Desmond? You got an egghead. Brayton, leave me alone! Oh, since you like speaking out, tell me something about the old Hollywood. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I can tell you something about the old Hollywood. Due to racial discrimination, Hollywood avoided using African-American actors and actresses. That's right, Brayton. At least somebody's listening. Here's a pop quiz. Brayton, you don't got to take it. Oh, uh, yeah. So at a young age, I was really into music and I built my own recording studio. I was recording a lot of people from school and they told everyone that I had the best studio. Brayton the school bully came up to me and said, So I heard you had the best recording studio. Yeah, I do. It's pretty nice. Look, I'll stop being mean to you if you think the best studio. Brayton the school bully came up to me and said, So I heard you had the best recording and I built my own recording studio. I was... That's right, Brayton. At least somebody's listening. Here's a pop quiz. Brayton, you don't got to take it. Oh, yeah. So at a young age, I was really into music, and I built my own recording studio. I was recording a lot of people from school, and they told everyone that I had the best studio. Brayton, the school bully, came up to me and said, So I heard you had the best recording studio. Yeah, I do. It's pretty nice. Look, I'll stop being mean to you if you teach me how to record. Woo, you got yourself a deal. Meet me at my house after school. I didn't know why Brayton wanted me to teach him, but if it meant him not being mean to me anymore, I'll do it. Hi, Desmond. I'm ready to learn. So the first thing I did was explain what everything was in my studio. And Brayton was catching on fast. Is this the auto-tune button? Yeah, it is. Oh, let me try it. Thank you for teaching me what you know. Now I can start my own studio. Everyone's gonna be at my door No one's gonna come here no more Thank you for teaching me What happened to the order to? You had me teach you so you can start your own studio? Yup, and I'm gonna run you out of business <laughs> So I didn't know that Brayton bullied other kids I thought I was the only one So I decided to create a podcast for people to call in and tell me the Brayton stories Welcome to the DMD show where anybody can call and talk about Brayton Caller number one What has Brayton done to you? Oh, that boy 
this shit straight up crazy. One day he just came up to me during lunchtime and just took my muffin. Wait, what did he take? My muffin. Oh, my your muffin. My blueberry muffin. He just stuck in it. I'm sorry to hear about your muffin. What's your name? My name? Oh, I can't say that. He might be listening. I'm hanging up. Wait, wait. <sighs> Caller number two. What has Brayton done to you? Caller number two. Oh, I'm sorry. I was playing the SpongeBob game. Oh, the Krusty Cook-Off? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yup, that game is so fun. The link to the game is on my TikTok page. Cool, but now about Brayton. One day he asked me to knock a pencil off his shoulder and I did it and he beat me up. Stop playing. He did that to me too. Hold on, we have a third caller. Hello? Oh, so you want to be over here talking about me? I'm going to beat you up at school. And that's it for today's podcast. <laughs> so when I got to school one day, I seen two of my friends bobbing their heads. Look at your shoes. Look at your pants. Look at your shirt. Oh, this is great. Look at your shoes. Look at your pants. Look at your shirt. Yo, yo, Desmond's coming. Turn it off. Yo, what was that song? You're not going to like it. Yeah, Brayton made a whole song about you. About me? What are you talking about? You remember back in fifth grade when you wore that funny looking outfit and Brayton started talking about you? I mean, really, look at your shoes. Look at your pants. Look at your shirt. Trust me, I remember, but what about it? He made a whole song about it. Yeah, he put it on iTunes, Spotify, everywhere. Oh, y'all must be talking about my new song. Have you heard it, Desmond? It's about you. Nope, and I never will. You better listen to it before I get mad, okay? Yeah. One day he came to school wearing some funny clothes. I looked down at his feet and said, ha, water roll. What do you think? Oh, I love it. <laughs> So in the eighth grade, everyone started playing this game called Open Neck. Basically, if you saw someone not paying attention, you walked up behind them and smacked the back of their neck with all your might. Open Neck! And if you were really good, the person would be holding the back of their neck for the rest of the period. The only issue was Brayton would take it too far every time. You'd be looking right at him and he'll still try to hit you. Instead of using his hands, he'll try to use books. And instead of hitting you once, he'll hit you three times. Open Neck! Open Neck! Open Neck! One time he hit me so hard that his handprint was stuck on the back of my neck for days. But to Brayton, it was a one-way game. One day I got him back, up and neck, and it didn't go too well. What you doing? I don't play those stupid games. I'm beating you up. Oh, my goodness. I'm about to get beat up. Brayton, you open neck me yesterday. Why can't I open neck you? Because I'm Brayton, and nobody touches Brayton. Get over here. Open neck, open neck, open neck, open neck. Whoa, whoa. So one afternoon, Brayton took a nap and his older brother, Ethan, wanted to play a trick on him. Wake up, Brayton. It's time to go to school. Huh, what time is it? It's 7 o'clock. You're about to be late for school. Oh, no, I got people I got to beat up today. Brayton got washed up, put on some clothes, and headed to the curb to wait for the bus. I seen him sitting outside, and I said, Brayton, why are you sitting on the curb? I'm waiting for the school bus. Why don't you have your school uniform on? <laughs> because it's 7.30. Yeah, I know, stupid. 7.30 p.m. Now who's stupid? 7.30 p.m.? Oh! Why do you say it was time for school? Because I can do what I want to do, and you can't do nothing about it. Huh, <laughs> little boy. Oh, I can't stand you, Ethan! <laughs> so I would never forget my eighth grade graduation. I remember being so excited because I was finally going to be away from Brayton. Rumor had it that he was moving away, so in high school, I was going to be free! My class selected me to give a speech, and it was time. Hi, I'm Desmond Dennis, and I can't believe that we're graduating. There's so much that I want to say, but I don't want to keep you guys too long, so I'm just going to talk about the bad things because there's way more bad than good. I'm not going to say any names, but that guy right there has made school so miserable for me. I don't even know where to begin. At first, we were friends, but then he just started being mean to me, and the principal and all y'all teachers know what I'm talking about because y'all were scared of him too. So all I have to say is that I'm glad I'm graduating because I don't have to see his face no more. I didn't hear them call my name to get my diploma, and they gave it to Brayton to give it to me. You missed your turn, Desmond. Here's your diploma. Diploma. Ooh, you gotta be a little quicker than that. My diploma! You just had to bully me one last time, huh? So many colors, you look just like a clown. Wait, you came to school wearing hand-me-downs. I seen those clothes before. Your brother wore that shirt before. And I see you get mad, but you ain't bad. But detect that I smack you on the floor. Listen to my words, cause I really want you to know. I'm the kind of guy that diss you in your own studio. So you better get out my face before I give you a spanking. And I don't want to hear you. Guys, and go to the fun video.
and we'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye. Beep-bop.